tubes. We're heading out to the parts house. We gotta get some 448A and some pipe and some insulation. We're gonna, I'm gonna take you guys along today to finish up this walk-in box job. And uh, it's a brand new walk-in box. And we're gonna put the condensing in. It's just gonna go right on top of the box is all they wanted. Should be a super short line set run. And uh, we'll get that going and uh, see how, how it turns out. Ooh, Fuzzmaster 5 right there. YouTube police, pull it over, pull it over. You didn't purge your nitrogen. Oh yeah, baby. Box. Uh, it's got the Ranko. Came with the Ranko. And it came with a relay from the factory. purge set up. If you see my videos before, I got this big uh, air hose that I use. And I'll just go ahead and tap into the suction header. And when we'll fit our pipe up, uh, we get to brazing, we'll be able to purge the nitrogen. <sighs> get all the refrigerants our little valve can do. We do 22, 448. 449A, 407A, 407C, 407F, all on one valve. Pretty cool. All right, there's a condensing unit. I just got the rubber pads on. I gotta lag it down. It's gonna be a really short line set. Doink, doink, doink. Short line set. Just a little shorty line set. Make it happen, make the magic. Making the magic. All right, slipping on the insulation. I leave my, so I use full sticks of insulation, not the split stuff. Got it, so I got one weld left. Pipe's pliable. And uh, I got it all the way up to here where I'm gonna put my strut clamp. And I can get this piece on. Please take your time with her. Nice. Bent it around. She'll get going. tubing cutter to hold it back. Slide it back and then get your tubing cutter. Slide it back and get your tubing cutter on there to hold it back. Okay, that's the trick there. Just like that. The wet rag too, help it from heating up. All right, I'm still striking out on the blue back. Put a bunch of alcohol in there. I haven't bought the electronics cleaner yet. Someone told me to put in there and spray in there. So I'm back on the VG64. One hose vacuum today. Short little line run. Nothing fancy. Uh, this is going to be 448 Alpha. 448. So we'll let her pull down and see what happens. issues today. My battery died in the subco. Now we're down to the fill piece head. Going on the DL429. Let's get that set up. So I ended up using the fill piece head with the DL429, the UEI DL429 multimeter. And you can see it makes it go Bluetooth to the app. So these are my microns using the field piece head and the DL429 multimeter. It's kind of nice. Uh, you guys can't see the graph on the, on the picture here, but it also has the graph. And you can see I'm at sample 6, sample 7, and then I jumped up to like 26, 28 as time went along. 
and uh, that's what I'm down to now for the uh, for my micron cage. I got to figure out how to fix the blue back vac, uh, the little mini blue vac, saying oil. So if you guys have any ideas, let I'm me know. All wrapped up with this now. This is a Russell condensing unit, different than the heat craft I put in the other day. Similar, but they use a regular condenser coil. It's not micro channel and it also has a bigger receiver so the total charge on this unit was 10 pounds four ounces for a correct charge whereas the micro channel condensing unit i put on the other day similar size box longer line run was about a five pound charge it's real interesting Uh, we'll go downstairs and check the evap here in a sec. 